Xavier's. That looks good. Why is there commercials? Why? This is Louis V. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Louis Vanna, and today, as you guys can see, we're in this my room setting. So of course, I will be talking the whole time. But we're going to play a little game called Would You Rather, and I'm going to be answering a couple of questions that I have on my phone already prepared for you guys. And we'll get started now, I guess. Would you rather only eat waffles or only eat pancakes? Definitely only eat pancakes. I am a big fan of pancakes. I love pancakes. I have this restaurant that I love going to that serves pancakes. I am a really big fan of pancakes. Let's just say that. So definitely go with pancakes and 58% set pancakes. That is amazing. Would you rather be a character in an action-packed thriller or be a character in a romantic comedy. That's actually hard. I don't know which one to choose. <laughs> Honestly, I would say it depends which character I am in each movie, but I'm a fan of romantic movies, not really romantic comedy movies, but I'm a fan of action packed thrillers. So I think I'm gonna go with the action packed thriller just because I know. The setting and everything will be so hyped and fun. 55% said yes for the action packed thriller like me, so that's good. Would you rather have a British accent or have an Australian accent? I would say I really love both of them, but I would probably go with an Australian accent only because it's a little bit more exotic to me, a little bit more different than a British accent. So I'll go with Australian. So for 33% said Australian. Perfect. Would you rather be extremely paranoid or be extremely naive? None of them are good, honestly. Who wants to be paranoid? Seeing ghosts everywhere, like woo. Or like woo. Or like woo. Like, <laughs> paranoid of like anything or yeah anything anyone does to you or be extremely naive and let anybody fool you fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me <gasps> I don't know I don't know which one to choose I'll just oh, I'll just go with like Mmm, paranoid. I don't know, paranoid. Fudge. 44% said paranoid and 56 said naive. Next. Would you rather have the voice of the opposite sex? So for me it would be a male voice. Or have the muscle mass body build of the opposite sex? I would definitely go with the muscle mass body build. My voice is so important to me. Like I already think, I'm really not a fan of my voice and like just, Having a man's voice would just be even worse. So I would definitely prefer having the mass and body build of the opposite sex because it's nothing. I mean, some girls already have it. You just train. So like, who cares? And you don't have to have that like bodybuilding shape. Anyways, so definitely go with body mass. 53% of the world agreed. Would you rather have a long curly hair or have short straight hair? Definitely gonna go with the long curly hair. I'm a big fan of long hair, so definitely gonna go with the long curly hair for sure. And that was a 50-50 answer. Nice. Be a cartoon character in a real, which rather, be in a cartoon character in real life or be a real life person in a cartoon. I would say be a real life person in a cartoon. Cause be a cartoon character in real life is just a little, Nah. So be a real life person in a cartoon, definitely. 49% agreed with me. 51% of you guys really want to be a cartoon in real life. Like, seriously? Come on, guys. Get it together. 
Would you rather be the best musician of all time or be the best athlete of all time? I think I would go with athlete just because I'm already an athlete. So I would definitely want to be the best athlete of all time. So yeah, that is a quick answer for me. And 65% of you guys agree, so that's good. Would you rather shop on Amazon or shop on eBay? I would say Amazon only because eBay has like those bidding stuff and I'm really not comfortable with that. Like I just don't like it. Amazon is just so much simpler for me. And 76% of you guys agree, so. I'm not the only one who thinks like that, clearly. Would you rather go bungee jumping or swim with sharks? Definitely bungee jumping. Like, who wants to go and swim with sharks? Really, guys? Let's just see what's the percentage, because honestly, okay, 77% of you agreed. But I don't understand who is that last 23% of the world who agrees to go swimming with sharks. Honestly, really, guys, swimming with sharks instead of bungee jumping. Bungee jumping is so, I can't say it's so fun because I haven't done it yet, but I'm pretty sure it's really fun compared to swimming with sharks and risking your life and almost dying here, like. Who wants to do that, honestly, who? Anyways, would you rather have no electricity or have no clothes? Electricity to me is super important. I need my internet, I need my Wi-Fi, I need my lighting, I need I still have to like make food. I need my electricity. But then again, I do need clothes. Like I am not about that Adam and Eve life. So, I'll still go with the Adam and Eve life. 36% <laughs> of you guys agreed with me. Oh my gosh. You guys said have no electricity. So you guys prefer having clothes than having electricity. Why not go back to Adam and Eve? <laughs> Would you rather be famous in this lifetime or get go down in history? No, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, where's my reading skills here? Would you rather be famous in this lifetime or go down in the history books? I feel like going down in the history books is just so much better because you actually impacted something huge for you to be able to be in the history books but at the same time being famous in this lifetime it doesn't necessarily mean you'll be like a bad famous you know could be a, such a good thing that at the end of time you end up in the history books <laughs> honestly I don't know go down in the history books or be famous in this lifetime Going down in the history books, you're forever known. Being famous in this lifetime, it's just precisely this lifetime, so. I mean, at least you're living. I'll just go with be famous in this lifetime. I feel like that's a really stupid choice, but whatever. 58% of you guys agreed though, so yeah. Would you rather lose your best friend or lose a member of your family? Lose my best friend, because I know she's still living her life. Lose a member of my family, it's a member, it's blood, it's family. I, would, I wouldn't I would be able to live with it. So, definitely lose a best friend. 72% of you guys said yes, of course. That would just be normal. Who is the other 27% of you guys? You guys have no family. Would you rather have a small head or have a small body? I'll go with small body. Does me have a big head? And I already have a small body, so like, whatever. 47% of you guys agree. So I'm gonna end it over here, guys, and tell you guys to have a great, what is this, Wednesday or whenever I'm gonna be posting this video. <laughs> have a great day, guys. I am definitely working on my pranks that I'll be working on very very soon I just received my package in the mail of like some of the equipment I needed to film for my pack oops to film 
for my pranks video. So I'm super excited for that to be coming up soon. Don't ask, I don't need a boyfriend. Yeah, so you can fine. go back. Please enjoy your party. I'll be here. Thank <laughs> you.